pen spinning is dying. No, it is already dead. Yellow, you're on Penstock, the channel about the most beautiful and fascinating art of pen spinning. Have you ever heard such silly sentences about our beloved hobby? Like, pen spinning was very popular back then, but now it is completely buried in oblivion. I see people saying that pretty often, and I completely disagree. From the other hand, there are some several reasons why pen spinning is not popular and never will be. It is more than obtainable and completely mind-blowing. All you need is to have five fingers on at least one of your hands and at least one eye to learn how to do extraordinary things with simple objects. That's why there would always be people who would want to learn it and to show to others. But their number will always be small. PPM, also known as Poopo Man, legend of pen spinning one of the best power spinners in the world, is going to help me to make this video much more spectacular. He has offered his breathtaking freestyles and I want to thank you buddy for that. Guys, you can find links to his social media in the description under this video on YouTube. So, is pen spinning dead? Of course it is not. And why would it? As soon as there are at least 10 guys who practice tricks with pen, it would stay alive. As for my opinion. Pen spinning was born at the beginning of 20th century, so it is more than 100 years old and till during that time it hasn't died. Even though there was no internet till the last 20 years, give or take. I mean, internet wasn't available for majority of people. For example, I got it at my home only by 2007. How about that? Before that, I had to go to internet cafe or to my friends to play Warcraft 3 on Battle.net or, or chat with some people from other cities or countries or whatever useless stuff I did on internet back then. For a very long time pen spinning was surviving, even though people had extremely limited means of communication. Ways of sharing their knowledge, learning new skills, developing old ones. There was no pen stock channel to teach them everything by means of full HD 50 FPS videos. How did they even manage to keep pen spinning alive to this day? Joking, 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 don't take it so serious. Jesus. As we can see at this picture, peak of popularity of pen spinning was at 2006 to 2008, early years of modern pen spinning. It was the time of Bankura, who was the, an idol for a lot of pen spinners and who did a lot for popularization of pen spinning. Do you know about him? Paul, right here, right now. It is very interesting to know how many people know about Bankura, as back then he was huge in pen spinning, and to my mind he should not be forgotten. As you can see, there is a downturn in PS popularity, which has started in several months after sorrowful death of Bankura. I wonder if these facts are connected or not. My guess? Yes, they are. And as you see, this downturn is happening today, still. Though. Wait a second. You know, it looks like there is a little hope. Maybe there is nowhere to fall further and pen spinning is going to bounce. It is not going to be very popular, but it also is not going to die, especially now, when people have possibility to film their skills much easier than before. And you can see it by yourself. Level of beginner pen spinners grows much much faster than it used to back then. To develop his mastery till the level which he showed in his first solo video, Bankura had been practicing hard his skill for more than 7 years. Now some pen spinners can show more difficult, but still less creative, combos within the first 3 years of spinning, or even earlier than that. That's because now we have much more knowledge, tips, examples, much more available high quality videos, which you can easily slow down. It wasn't possible on YouTube just a few years ago, open spinners of the past. As well, they had pretty limited access to high quality properly made pen mods and they had to make them by themselves or find some sellers on internet and scamming was pretty common back then when people paid and didn't get their pen mods. And this massive of knowledge, information, possibilities grows exponentially, even though pen spinning itself 
seems to fall off. Only seems. Remember my words. Let's check out Google Trends at September 2019. How things would go by that time? What do you think? Let me know in the comment section below. October 2018 was the month when UPSB, the main place for meeting of different pen spinners from all over the world, died. It is very pity. And I was very glad to find archives, archives of this forum. It is a gold mine of precious information. But why did it die? I think because it got outdated, not because pen spinning is dead. They tried to update it by changing designs, its appearance, tried to make new versions. But the main reason – forums are dying. People don't use them as much as they used before. When I got to UPSB in 2014, it was pretty crowded, by the way. It was so much fun in there. But closer to its end, it seems to me that I was the only one person posting there with my videos of pen stock. There were a few people on chat, but the chat was also quite slow. Death of UPSB symbolized the death of an era of old pen spinning. And it also had to inaugurate the genesis of a new era. And all of us, you and me, are heralds of this new era. More major, more conscious. And now let's talk about why pen spinning is not going to be mass popular. I see a few reasons for that. The first and the main one it is hard. It requires a lot of efforts. It makes you go beyond your comfort zone and people don't like that. You can see. Harder the activity is, less popular it is. You get a very high amount of mental reward after achieving new things in pen spinning. But to achieve them, you need to try and to fail numerous times and to be very patient. Let's estimate the positive percentage of people who could become average pen spinners. Let's say 100 people saw a pen spinning video, doesn't matter, promo video, solo, maybe collaboration, maybe just a guy in the park, wherever they can see a guy with spinning a pen mod. 50 of them would be amazed, as other 50 would just pass by. I'm just assuming these numbers, I don't have the, such information. Actually, I think it is not quite accurate, and the percentage of people who would be amazed would be less than 50. But let's go with 50-50. So, 50 people said whoa and forgot about what ha they have just seen in one minute. There are some cute cats, guys counting to 100 thousands in one take, a lot of more interesting and useful stuff in the internet and YouTube as well. The other 25 people typed pen spinning in Google or YouTube and found some information about that. Well, how you can learn it, what you need for that, etc, etc. Out of these 25 people, 13 would say yeah, cool, and stop searching right after that. 12 will actually try to do some fundamental tricks with a simple stick, simple pen or pencil. Six of them will rage quit right after one hour of continuous failing. Other six probably would make their self mod and continue till learning reverses of fundamentals. Three of the rest guys will smash their self mod off the wall or off their head. Other three would go further to the level where fun actually starts. This percentage is pretty optimistic and most likely actual numbers would be even smaller. But as you can see, 3% of people who have seen pen spinning would join community and choose pen spinning as their thing. Do you think that many people even know what pen spinning is? Try to ask those around you and let me know how many people who know what pen spinning is you have found. I can hardly name one of 100 who would say, oh, oh, isn't it a pen spinning, right? 99% always ask me, what the hell are you doing? And can it write? Maybe I am lucky to find that one man. It was actually one man who knew what it is. So, how many people can become pen spinners? 3% out of 1% of all people. <laughs> how about that? That's why pen spinning is not going to be crowded. From the other hand, it is not that bad. Less people, more oxygen for those who are left. 
you are always going to be one of few. You will always be able to do things which the total majority believes to be impossible. There are also some other reasons for pin spinning being unpopular, but they can be solved, unlike the previous one. And the next one is lack of good high quality content about pen spinning. Good channels which used to be great someday now are abandoned or and look outdated. I mean channels like mine for example like Catering93, Super Walrus. The channels which teach people something new in pen spinning make reviews for pen mods, show how to make these pen mods, maybe with some entertaining videos, like the ones which um, a guy named Tech used to make. He did very entertaining, creative videos about pen spinning. All of them are abandoned. Another thing is lack of one place when all of us can meet each other to share knowledge, show their pen mods only for good pen modders, ugly monsters with tape instead of grips don't count. Hide them. Be ashamed of them. Okay, now it is a pretty long video already. Though I haven't told you everything I wanted. There are some more reasons of why pen spinning is not popular and is not going to be. By the way, if you have some thoughts regarding this matter, leave them in the comment section below this video. It is time to be more active. You will see if we would manage to make pen spinning much more popular than it is right now, it is going to be great for each of us. More content, more possibilities, much more fun and much more motivation to reach new limits of skill. With that in mind, share this video and other videos from this channel and other videos from other channels. Minova PPM, by the way, found a good video about pen spinning. Share it, promote it wherever you can. Social media, other websites, everywhere. I'm Alex Suhov. May the style be with you. Bye.